Hi, and welcome to the Google Sheets tutorial on how to quickly transpose data. My name is John Flat, and I'm just going to show you the two quick methods on how to do this. I've got one kind of uh, neat little point at the end added. So the first most simple way to do this is to use the a copy and transpose function that's built into the Google Sheets. So the way, the way we could do that is if we come in here and we highlight the range we want to transpose, and you can either right click and hit copy, or you can hit Control C, or if you're on a Mac, Command C. So, Command C, and then you come over to the cell you want to start with, where you want to transpose the data. I put um, brackets around this so that you can see it and uh, and understand where we're going with it. You right click again, and you hit paste. You go to paste special, hover over, it, and you'll see down at the bottom you'll see paste transpose. You go ahead and click on that. And once you do that, it'll automatically transpose the data. Um, you'll take the columns and it'll transpose it across rows, uh, allowing you to create a different sort of form of table which can be really handy. Um, the other method to do this, which is a bit more dynamic and allows you to create, um, kind of build on this and use other functions within it, but it's the transpose function. It's very simple. You just hit equal transpose and you'll see it come up. You can hit tab, transpose, and then the range you want to transpose. So you can either type the range in, or if you'd like, you can come over and just highlight it like that. And you just hit enter and it automatically paste the transpose in the way you had it. And just like with the other one, again, this is a function, so it's slightly different um, in, the way, in the sense that you cannot come in here and delete any of these. It won't actually delete any of the information. The only way to delete a row or a column in this, in this case, would be to change it in here. So you could say B10 instead of B11. Now Lori's gone. Um, so that's the only way to do it. You couldn't actually delete it. And the other thing that's worth mentioning is, for example, if you have, a text cell here, you're going to get this ref error that comes up because it's saying it cannot expand because it would overwrite data in F1. It tells you where it's the problem. You can just come in and delete that data and it will bring the whole um, transpose back. Another cool uh, method that you can do this is you can actually nest using the transpose function. So you could put another function in within the transpose and get the results to transpose. For example, we'll just do a quick one that's simple equals transpose filter. So we're going to filter the range we were looking at earlier by highlighting that range. And then we're going to give it a condition. That condition we're going to do is, let's see here, uh, A1 through A11. So we're looking at the names and we're going to look for the name Glenn because there are two Glens in this data set. So it'll be easy to see how it works. Close parentheses and another close parentheses and enter. And now you see that there are two Glens and they're both transposed as we were requesting. So it's filtering out to only the ones with the name Glenn and it's giving it transpose data. So that's just another way of using the transpose function um, and, and it definitely makes it more dynamic. And that wraps up how to quickly transpose data in Google Sheets. Thanks for joining us.